Hi hope you guys are doing well. So today we'll be making this tower, I'm showing you the viewport render because you can see for yourself the extremely low vertices count vs the high level of detail you'll be getting. Before we get started please subscribe to my channel, it's a small channel and it won't cost you anything, my goal is to get 1000 subscribers by the mid of this year. To get started you'll first need to download these images, the link is available in the description below. If you're going for NPR look you'll have to download the tower NPR image and you won't need the normal map but for realistic look you'll need to download the normal map and the tower real image. If you want to learn how to create these images and the normal map in the end I'll have a bonus clip the timestamp for it is available in the description below. First of all we'll need to head over to Blender and we'll delete the default cube. Then click 1 to go to front view, now click shift a image reference and locate the tower image. I'll be using the tower real one. Now click Shift, A, Mesh, Plane. Click R, X, 90, to make the plane face the front view. I've turned on my screencast keys to make it easier to follow along, you can see them on the bottom left of the screen. Now select your plane and the trick over here is we'll basically make its borders follow along the tower's borders. Click Tab to go into Edit Mode and then Z and Left, Enter to go to Wireframe Mode so that we can see the reference better. We'll select the upper two vertices and make them align with the upper part of the tower reference and do the same with the lower vertices with the lower part of the tower. Make sure that the edges of the plane stay inside the textured tower part of the reference. We'll now add two loop cuts, click Ctrl, R, and then scroll the mouse wheel to get two loop cuts and press Enter. Now select one of the loop cuts and click G, Z to move it to its appropriate position and then click S, X to scale it in the X axis to align it with the reference, do the same for the other loop cut as well while keeping both of them inside the textured part of the reference. Do the same for the top and bottom border vertices. We are done with the basic model shape. Hide the reference image as we don't need it anymore and now we'll create a material for our tower. I'll just take the original material and go into shading. Now click shift, A, and in the search bar type an image texture. Shift D to duplicate the image texture node, you don't need to duplicate the image texture if you're going for the NPR look. Open the tower real image in the image texture and plug it in the principal BSDF, also lower roughness and increase the metallic value of the principal BSDF, I forgot to do it myself in this video. Change the blend mode of the material to alpha clip and shadow mode to alpha hash, also plug in the alpha of the image texture and plug it in the alpha of principal BSDF. In the duplicated image texture node open the normal map of the tower. Then click Shift, A, and add a normal map node and plug it in the normal of the principal BSDF and the image texture with the normal map opened into the normal map node. Your mesh with the texture right now looks all wonky but don't worry about it. Now go into UV editing mode, click 1 into your workspace and go into from view this is necessary for the next step. Now click, A, to select all the vertices, then click, U, and select project from view. The UV map will appear in the UV editor side in the same shape as our mesh, select it all and scale it to match the normal map edges. Go back to layout and click, Z, rendered view. Change the light to a sun and set its value to 7 and rotate it at an appropriate angle. As you can see this tower chunk is reacting to the light a lot more because of the normal map but we're not quite done yet. Click 7 to go to top view and then tab to go to edit mode, select the entire mesh. Click, G, Y, 1 to move it along Y axis and R, 
z, minus 45 to rotate it along z axis, and finally g, x, 1 to move it along x axis. Now we can add a mirror modifier on the x and z axis. then go back to edit mode in top view. Turn on clipping on the mirror modifier, the trick here is that all the vertices then can be joined by clipping will be joined side by side. Click G, X to move it along X axis to combine it with the X side and G, Y to move it along Y axis to combine it with the Y side. Do this for all the parallel vertices. Now that we're done, go to rendered view and you can see all the detail. One problem you might have observed is that the details seem inverted. Click on the overlays button and turn on face orientation. If the outer faces are red and inner are blue then that means the faces are on the opposite direction. To fix this go into edit mode select that entire mesh and from the top menu select mesh normals flip. Now if you go to rendered view the details are outwards on the tower. This looks great considering it's only 16 vertices and if you are making it for blender only, then you're done, you can add dishes, antennas, and cables etc to add more detail, but if you're making it for a gaming engine like Unity you have to take it a step further. Add a solidify modifier onto the tower, we have to do this for Unity as it renders things differently than blender does. You can also reduce the strength of the normal map by going into shading tab and lower the strength of the normal node to 0.5. I'll show you another example as to why this technique is so useful before the bonus clip on how to make the image textures and normal maps. I made this wired fence using the same technique. It currently doesn't have the normal map plugged in and if I Just hide the poles you can see the plane with an array modifier and a solidify modifier has barely any vertices while still giving so much detail. Tail and the final result with the normal map looks even more amazing with the normal map plugged in. Now for the bonus part. First you'll need a vector image like this, I have it uploaded in the link below or you can find your own that you like from Google etc. The requirement is simple the main subject of image should be colored and the background should either be transparent or white. You'll also need a metallic texture if you're going for the realistic look. You'll also need Inkscape software, it's completely free like Blender and if you have been watching my videos in the past you know I frequently implement it in my videos. You'll also need Krita software also free. To create the normal map and I have a few very useful videos coming up using Krita, so you'll want to keep it installed. Now open Inkscape and import the vector tower image by dragging it in Inkscape. On the top menu click on path and then click trace bitmap and then click apply. Inkscape has automatically created a vector map for you. Don't be intimidated by all the points. Delete the image as we don't need it anymore. Click on the node tool on the left menu and zoom in to see the points better. We only need the tower basic structure and not the arms nor the blocks in the bottom. 
Click and drag on the points and click delete to get rid of them. If you accidentally delete extra points you can always use Ctrl Z to undo. After deleting all the extra points we'll use these bezier handles to fix all the extra deformations. If you're going for NPR look you're done, feel free to change the color of the tower but if you're going for realistic then import the metallic texture in Inkscape. Scale the metallic texture down by clicking Ctrl and dragging it. You'll have to be a little careful for this part. Basically you'll create a duplicate by pressing Ctrl D of the vector tower and make a sandwich with the metallic texture, where the two vector towers will act as the bread. First place the vector tower below the metallic texture, you can use the move above and below buttons for this purpose that have been highlighted red on the top, and then click Ctrl D to create a duplicate. After this while having the top vector tower selected select the metallic texture and lower vector tower as well. Then on the top menu click object, clip, set clip. Now we have our textured tower cut out. Export the tower cut out, one without any background and one with a black background for creating the normal map. Click on the rectangle tool and create a background for the cutout and then move the black rectangle behind the cutout. On the top menu click File, Export and a menu will pop up on the right side. Select the destination where you want to export the cutouts and then export them. Head over to Krita and import the cutout with the black background. The black background is to show zero height. And the tower in the front with lighter colors will show height when we create the normal map. In the top menu click filter, edge detection, and then click height to normal map. There are three options for you to choose from for the strength of the normal map. Pruitt is high, Sobel is medium and simple is low. Choose the one that you like and click OK. You now have a normal map with just a few clicks and can export it for your use. If you find this video helpful please leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel, it's a small channel and it won't cost you anything, my goal is to get 1000 subscribers by the mid of this year.